Hi everyone! I have a pretty giant manga haul today. I have a Crunchyroll box and I bought a Crunchyroll exclusive figure and I have eight Amazon packages so I have a lot of manga to open and I let's just get to it. Um, I have almost I think I have almost 850 subscribers and I would really appreciate if you haven't subscribed and you watch this channel, um, if you would subscribe, uh, it means the world to me. Um, just the fact that 850 people almost have subscribed, like, that's crazy to me, but if you haven't, please, I, I really appreciate it, so <laughs> thank you. Okay, so... Let's start off with this little one. This one I bought from a third party seller and I did like sneak peek it open because I was worried about it. Um, I bought it off a third party seller on Amazon because Delicious in Dungeon is freaking hard to find right now. Um, I just finished watching the anime and I immediately went to... Um, buy like three more volumes of Delicious in Dungeon because I loved it so much. Ooh, it came with a sticker. And a bookmark. That's pretty cool. So I got, this is volume five. Right now I have volumes one and two and I ordered three, four, and five. So here's five. Here's the back. Fallon's on the cover of this one. Um, I freaking love Delicious in Dungeon. It's so good. Um, I just want more of it. I know I've already re re like watched all of this happen in the anime, but I want to get past it. And I found out that Delicious in Dungeon, I think it just ended. Um, I think there's just 13 volumes or something. So I, I kind of just like want to read it all and find out what the completed story is. So I absolutely love the way these volumes look. So here's volume five. There's more coming. Um, I just don't know like what order because there's a lot of random Amazon packages. Okay, this is Nina the Starry Bride, Volume 2. I just read Volume 1, and I thought it was pretty good. I know that they're making an anime for this, like, really soon. Um, my favorite thing about this series is the artwork, for sure. Um, the story was pretty decent. I wish the main character was not, like, so young. Um, that's my only kind of gripe sometimes when there's, like, a really young main character and it's, like, a romance, <laughs> uh, manga. It just, just because I'm older, it makes me feel kind of weird, but it's, it's a beautiful story so far. I like it. Mostly the art, like, the art is wonderful. Um... I don't know anything else about this author's art. Like, I don't know if you guys know anything else about this author. The author's art is gorgeous. Um, I'm a big fan of the art. So yeah, I picked up Nina, the, the Starry Bride. And I watched the anime trailer and it looks like they got her starry eyes like perfect. <laughs> okay. Um, I, some, I don't like these like weird big Amazon <laughs> bags, but, oh, oh, there's two in here. Okay. Uh, okay. We'll start with Shoha Shoten volume two. Wow. I ordered this a long time ago. Um, I re just read volume one. Well, not just, it feels like it's been a month or so. Um, I read volume one of Shoha Shoten. And it's about two high school boys who want to become, like, stand-up comics. And I'm, like, really into this genre right now. Like, Akane Banashi is kind of, like, similar vibes, except for hers is Rakugo. Um, but I like them, like, working towards and, like, the competitions of, like, the, like, the comedy. It, it's really interesting. So I was not expecting to like this series very much, and surprisingly... I am excited to read Shoha Shoten Volume 2, so, surprised. 
I, I just wasn't sure what to expect. Okay. Uh, the next is Wave, Listen to Me. Uh, volume 1. I have not read this. I just... It, it's been in my Amazon, like, saved for later cart for a long time. Um, it seems to be about, like, a radio broadcast lady. I really don't know. <laughs> the art looks pretty interesting. It's, like, really realistic, but kind of sketchy. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna have to tell you guys how this goes or if you've read this let me know it looks different than I was expecting it looks quite serious um, the art looks kind of serious and dark I thought it was going to be like kind of more lighthearted not that I, I I don't want a like dark and serious I just have to find out <laughs> so there's that um, next one. Uh, okay. Uh, volume 21 of Comey Can't Communicate. I got volume 22 on sale, so I needed to pick up a hole in my collection, which was volume 21. Um, Comey has been really good. I've read a lot of Comey this summer. Um, I still feel like I'm never going to be caught up because I, <laughs> I think I own up to volume 22 and I think I've read up to 20, but um, I really liked it. It's I've kind of got the Comey fatigue a little bit, but I don't. It's okay. Uh, I really love her as a character, so I love Comey. Alright, uh, next one. This one? Oh, this one smells like... Oh, I ordered this a long time ago. Wow, some of this stuff might have been like lost in my living room. Okay, um, I ordered D Gray Man. I don't know if that's focusing like at all. D Gray Man Volume One. Um, I watched the D Gray Man. The D Gray Man, yeah, anime. All the way up to like when they got the new animation and. It was, I don't remember what the, like, newer animation was even called, but, um, yeah, I watched the whole anime. I really liked D. Green Man, so I wanted to see, like, how the manga compares, um, because I don't want to watch the, all of the anime again, because it was a lot of episodes, but I wouldn't mind reading D. Green Man again, so. This is an older one. That was, like, one of my first big, like, anime binge shows. <laughs> It's like it's interesting to go back to anime that I've watched like a really long time ago. Uh, this box was really cool. It had like imprints of designs on it. Oh, this one is another delicious in dungeon. Um, this was a, from a third party seller. This just came yesterday. It took a long time to get here. It's super nice though. Looks like chill chucks on the front of this one. This is the next one that I needed. So that means volume four is somewhere down there. <laughs> um, so we'll be getting to that soon. Um, this is still like where the anime is like the anime is probably around like it ended around volume eight or nine I feel like so I still have a ways to go but like I said I really really love this series and I'm excited to have more of them okay uh, it looks like we're down to just two more Amazon packages Okay, uh, Delicious in Dungeon, Volume 4. Senshi is one of my favorite characters. I love him so much. <laughs> Just look at that face. <laughs> um, 
yeah, nothing. I don't even know. Like, if you haven't read this series, please read it or watch the anime or do both like me. <laughs> um, the covers are so gorgeous. I love the art style. Maybe, or you could wait for the box set. There is a box set coming out, I think, in December for because of the series is finished, but I can't wait that long. So I needed these now, but just so you know, it's been really hard to find them. Not really hard, but I did have to order two out of three of those from third-party sellers on Amazon for a slightly inflated price, but I wanted them. <laughs> okay, um, I'm on my last Amazon box. This is one of my bigger manga hauls in a while. Okay. Um, this one is No Longer Heroin, Volume 2. That face. <laughs> I feel like that sums up this series really well. Um, this series I have like a weird relationship with because I thought that the covers were extremely ugly when I first saw them. I don't know why my camera is not focusing. Um, I thought that the, key, the covers were really ugly, especially the one that I saw for the first volume, but I decided to read it anyways. And the it was a really standard, it was a really standard manga. Um, it's about a girl who likes this guy who is their like childhood friends, but she's not a very good person. <laughs> and I feel like she has gotten better. So it's interesting to kind of read about a character who's not really a good character um but maybe she'll improve as she <laughs> tries to get this boy's attention but I just kind of felt like it wasn't the greatest but I for my reading log I gave it a meh so I'm not going to drop this series I want to read some more of it but it was just kind of meh for me but I ordered volume two so that I can keep giving it a try. Okay, uh, here is my Crunchyroll box. I haven't, it feels like I haven't had a Crunchyroll box in a couple of months. Ooh. Oh, my figure is on top. <laughs> I've never had a figure packaged in with my manga before. This is what it looks like. Oh, I've never had a Crunchyroll exclusive figure before. They don't have a lot of them. Oh, she looks adorable. Wow, what a cool box. Um, not really like a keepable box, but here she is. She is made Comey with cat ears. I will have to open her up after I finish going through this box, but you can see her pretty well. This is a nice box. Um, this Comey figure was, like, I think $40? I don't know. She is kind of expensive, but I've been reading a lot of Comey, and I got, I'm gonna take all these out, and I really wanted her, so. Wow. Okay, let's do this. Um, we've already gone through so much manga, and there's a lot more to go. Okay. Uh, first off is Snow White with the Red Hair, Volume 2. I don't know why my camera is not focusing on things. There's Zen on the cover. I just read Snow White with the Red Hair, Volume 1 yesterday, um, and it was pretty good. Uh, this is one that came out when I was first getting into like watching anime, and I watched the like, first 12 episodes of Season 1 like a really long time ago and it wasn't my most favorite but I enjoyed it so I wanted to give this this series the manga series a try so I thought it was pretty good so I grabbed volume two to keep going with it um next is shy volume six Shy is one that I'm really not quite sure about anymore. Um, I haven't read volume 5 yet. It's coming up pretty soon in my to be read. It's just, I'm, I don't know if I'm losing interest or I just, I'll have to see where it goes in volume 5 and volume 6. Um, I do think I need to read volume 6 before I decide if I'm going to keep reading it. 
Um, I like the covers so much. It's, it's just like, I just don't know about the story sometimes, but here's volume six. Um, next is Black Torch volume five. I believe this is the last volume of Black Torch that was published. I don't think it's the end of the series, but I think the English publication stopped at volume five. I've read volumes one, two, and three. It does say the final volume, so maybe it ended in Japan too, or I don't know, but I know this is the last one. Uh, Black Torch actually ended up being pretty good. Um, I was really iffy about starting it, and I'm kind of sad that it has to wrap up after five volumes because like just based on what was happening it I don't know how it's going to really wrap up but I probably will just leave it kind of open-ended but yeah the last volume of Black Torch it's only a five volume series long series okay uh next is Pandora Hearts volume three you guys are gonna keep noticing a pattern here. Uh, Pandora Hurts is another anime that I watched when I was young and I loved it and it was one of my first like animes that I really loved and it's in that like edgy zone so <laughs> uh, where like D Gray Man like was coming out and I watched um, a lot of those things. Um, but Pandora Hearts, I've read volume one. I just started volume two. Um, I watched the whole anime, so I do, it's still following where it was, but I really like it. It's really edgy. Uh, it gives me lots of, lots of nostalgia, and, um, it's interesting to see, like, where, um, June Mochizuki started before a case study of Vanitas, because this is what I read by her first. So, yeah. Okay. There is so much... <laughs> Uh, next is Norgami Volumes 10 and 11. I just want to make more progress in Norgami because I'm still not past where I watched the anime. <laughs> and it, I've been collecting manga for like a year and a half. So I ordered two of these. Uh, volume 10. Super cute. Um, this one looks like it's getting close to where the anime ended like it seems like Yato is back from the underworld and it, it looks like I'm getting really close and then this one this guy I like don't even want to see him on the cover he makes me so mad but maybe he won't make me mad once I read more but I th think Noragami has finished now and I want to know how it ends so I'm keeping going. Uh, next is The King's Beast, Volume 5. I haven't read Volume 4 yet. It's just coming up pretty soon. This is like a fast, quick uh, quick read. It's kind of like lighthearted so far. Um, which is strange, considering like what it's about. But um, it's a pretty good story, so it's just like a fast kind of shoujo romance, kind of. <laughs> uh, this is getting really tall. Uh, next is Sakamoto Days Volume 10. I read a lot of Sakamoto Days this summer, just like I read a lot of Komi, so I'm on Volume 10 now. I read a lot the last like couple of weeks because I bought a bunch of used volumes and I was reading those ones, but it's a really good series. I'm very excited. I saw the trailer for the anime for this, and I'm pretty excited. I really like the cover of this one. Sakamoto Days always has good covers, but this one I feel like is especially, like, kind of, the colors are beautiful. Um, it's just, like, a fast adventure. <laughs> it's a fast adventure, and it, it's really good. The fight scenes are drawn really well. I like this one. Um, next is Heavenly Delusion, Volume 5. I love Heavenly Delusion. I still have around Volume 4. Um, it's coming up in my To Be Read. I really like the cover of this one. Since I haven't read Volume 4 and I haven't read Heavenly Delusion in a couple of months, it's going to be interesting to go back into this world. <laughs> it's a very dark world and it's a really good story though. 
and it seems like finally like these were out of stock for in a lot of places and it's kind of died down since the anime so i was able to easily find this one all right we have three more uh something's wrong with us volume five i still haven't read volume four I almost picked up a like pack of these. There's like four of them for $30 or something. But I am reading so many different series that I don't really want to read four of these at once. Like I did with Komi and Sakamoto. And I did that with Free Run too, but Free Run's different. I love Free Run. Free Run is crazy good. But yeah, here's only five. Um, two left. Uh, Megas of the Library, volume five. These take me so long to read, but look how intricate the cover is. I really like this series. I still haven't read volume four, <laughs> but I'm excited too because I really like this series. I think it's really good. It's a deep fantasy with a lot of like rules and it tells you a lot about the world. It's just really deep. Okay, uh, my last one is uh, The Girl from the Other Side, volume six. I haven't read volume five. These read extremely quickly, um, just because there's not a lot of text on a lot of the pages, but this one seems to have more than a lot of the time. Um, it's a tiny, tiny volume, but it's a beautiful story, and I'm always excited to get to this one. I really wish I would have got the big, beautiful volumes, but I didn't know <laughs> when I bought the first one, so yeah, it's okay. All right, let's see how many I ended up with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, I made it to 20. <laughs> okay, so this haul had 21 volumes of manga, which is, I feel like, one of my biggest volume or hauls in a while. Um, I'm going to open my Komi figure really quick. Um, I feel like there's no need to really worry about this box. I mean... <laughs> It says Pop Pop Up Parade is a new series of figures that are easy to, to easy to collect with affordable prices and speedy releases. So this is my first um, Pop Up Parade. No, if it's like a Crunchyroll only thing, I just know that this Komi was a Crunchyroll exclusive. How the plastic is really sharp. minimal packaging. I wonder how much like that really simple packaging saves because typically I save my um, boxes for my figures. I have them like stacked on top of some of my uh, to be read bookshelves. I know that it's like strange to judge the stand, but it's a very plain plastic -y stand. <laughs> Sometimes you get like the rare, really nice one. But the figure seems pretty nice. Oh, she's cute. Um, during one of the Komi arcs during the like school festival, they do a maid cafe. And Komi is very popular. <laughs> as usual. She's a nice figure. <laughs> I love her cat ears. And her like chubby little cheeks. Yeah, she's really cute. All right. So that's it for this manga haul. That was a big and long one, um, but I finally got rid of my like pile of stash manga over here. So that's totally, totally a good thing. Um, if you guys have read anything awesome lately, let me know if you made it uh, this far into the video. Um, if you haven't, I would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel. 
Um, I don't ask about it very often, but it would mean the world to me. Um, a big chunk of my uh, channel views are not from subscribers, so yeah, that would mean a lot to me. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.